Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another Python programming tutorial with Pygame. Where we left off, we've got a snake. He's running around, he's eating apples, but he's not getting any longer. And so we know our end goal is to have a list that contains all the X's, starting X's and Y's for the segments of our snake. And right now we're basically clearing that list every time. So our snake is only ever always one like bit long. But we want to change that. Um, so the way that we can start to handle that is by first we need to move snake list because right now each time this while loop runs it's clearing snake list because we're redefining snake list. We definitely want to clear and redefine snake head every time but not snake list. So let's go ahead and cut snake list there and really we just need it to be defined somewhere here in the top of game loop. So I'll just define it right here. So snake list empty list. Um, we'll just put it up there. Now uh, we'll come down here and first I suppose we can make sure everything runs but everything should run at this point but yeah so as you can see though we have a slight problem and it's that our snake just keeps getting longer and longer. Let's go ahead let's see if we can get this apple. Anybody think it's possible? Oh my goodness. I was gonna try and do it and not cross over and I already failed. <laughs> anyway um, so we can see what part of the problem is here is that our snake just continues getting <clears throat> getting longer and longer since we put our list up there. So we don't want to clear the list every time, but we're having trouble putting that list up there. So what do we need to do? Well, what we need to do is we need to call the length of the list every time I ask or query the length of the list, and then that way we can make an educated decision on whether or not we need to chop up that list and make it a little bit shorter or not, uh, which is going to be most of the time we do. So first of all, how would we do that? So we up here we've got snake list, and we know that when we start the list, the length will be one, right? Because we only have one segment. But then as time goes on, when we run over an apple, the length would be two, three, four, and so on. So we know that we would start, let's say, a uh, snake length, and we'll call that one. It starts at one. And then what we would do is whenever we run over an apple, what would we actually, what would we want to do for real um, is we would add one basically to the length of our snake. But for now, let us just um, really before we draw the snake, we would have to call this question. So basically if len of snake list so if the length of the list of all of these items in our snake list is greater than the snake length. So if that's great, if the, there's more items in the list than we're allowed to have in the length of our snake, what do we want to do? Um, well, we want to delete snake list element zero. So the first element in that list, because every time we append to that list, it basically appends, you know, on the end. Right, that's the whole point of append. So, so append adds to the end of the list. So the older elements will be at the front of the list. So we'd want to get rid of the very first element. So let's go ahead and save and run that and see if our snake acts accordingly. And it does. So by that same token, we could say, um, we could go up to the top here and we could say, uh, oh no, it would be in our game loop. Snake length uh, 10. Okay, so now our snake will be allowed to get 10 long, possibly. So we go like this, and now he's 10 long. But you can see he operates how we would expect snake to operate. So that's good. Okay. So now what we have is snake. It's a snake list and all of that. That's great. But as we eat the apple, it doesn't add anything to it. But we'll work on that probably in the next video. And then also, if we run into ourselves, it doesn't really seem to matter. Like, we can run into ourselves all we want. It's not a big deal. So obviously, that needs to be fixed as well. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.